Today I'm going to be cutting holes in the top of the water containers that are going to hold the net pots for the plants. I found a way to do it cheaply and quickly. You'll see how I did it today on Grow From Within. I had to cut three inch holes, or actually holes that were a little bit less than three inches in diameter, on the top of all the plastic lids of the containers that are going to hold my plants. At first I tried using a box cutter or metal shears, but those just made long cracks along the plastic. I didn't want to spend the money on buying a three inch hole saw. I already owned a Dremel. I tried it out with the drill bit attachment and it worked really well. Let me show you how it worked out. So now the job is to cut holes in the top of this container here which I spray painted it was clear but I spray painted the outside black with some spray paint uh, and the job is that we've got to take this net cup which is a three inch cup I figured I'd get bigger ones why not uh, and it's got to go in here so I found that the I, I've been trying a lot of different things uh, metal shears scissors um, sort of those carpet knives um, box cutters and the best way the best fastest way to do this is to use a Dremel with a um, With a drill bit on it like that All right, that's the fastest way and you couldn't you could get a three-inch hole saw But they're like twenty five thirty dollars at the home store And I'm not spending thirty dollars on, on, on a drill and I also found that when you use a Dremel on this bad boy uh, little tiny pieces of plastic go flying all over the place all right, and it makes a gigantic mess because they're all static electricity and they cling to everything and it's awful. So what you do to stop that from happening is you use tape. And what you do is, now what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to have two cups. I'm going to put one here uh, and I'm going to put one sort of diagonally which will maximize the amount of root. This, this container I decided I'm going to put two. Um, whether I'm right or wrong, I don't know. I mean. I, I want the plants to have some room to grow. So what you do is first what you what is you put some tape, some of this blue tape over where you want to put it. And what this is going to do is stop the plastic from flying all over the darn place and making an absolute mess. All right, so there you go. And then I have a sharpie here. And I will just uh, let me. You know, like my expensive tripod with a smooth, the smooth uh, action. Okay, and so what you do? This should be enough room. Is you draw a red. Well, you don't have to draw red. It's this is red, but uh, anyway. So it doesn't have to be precision uh, machining here. All right, and then all you do. Is, let me turn this around. And all you do is you, now, if you make it as wide as what you just did, it's going to fall through. Hello. So what you do is there's a lip here. I don't know how much it is. Eighth of an inch. So I'm going to, I'm going to make the hole a little bit, um, a little bit narrower than the, uh, than what I drew. That's all. Let's give it a shot. It doesn't have to be precision because the lip is going to the lip is going to is going to cover it, okay? Let's see how this goes. Well, uh, my idea is not working. It's putting plastic all over the place. God, I hate this. Well, I have an idea. The hose of my vacuum cleaner. Let's turn on the vacuum. Let's drill the hole.
Okay. Well, a little bit less of a mess anyway. All right, so let me take this tape off. Hmm. How my idea went. Let's see. I can always... I can always... Well, pretty good! Pretty good. I made it a little too big, but that's pretty good. I can make it, I can make it smaller next time. See? I made it a little bit too big. Well, you live and you learn. But it won't fall through. It's not going to fall through. Well, almost. Ha ha ha! Well, anyway. Oh, no. I just, I just pushed it too hard. There. That'll be all right. That'll be all right. All right. So that's how I'm going to do the... That worked pretty well. Pretty cheap, pretty fast, pretty easy. That's what I like. So uh, I'm going to do the other ones and I'll be back. There's one more thing I want to say. I was I made sure to vacuum up all of the little, well, almost all, <laughs> I've got to do the bottom, all these little metal, all these little plastic uh, shaving things. I want to make sure that they're all out of the bottom of the, of the bin because I don't want them going down my drain and sitting in my drain uh, and clogging everything up because the drain in my basement goes to an ejector pump and the last thing I need is to have the pump impeller blades or whatever it's in there messed up by a bunch of plastic. So I'm going to make sure that this is all nice and vacuumed out, all of them. Wipe down so it's nice and clean on the inside before I actually use it. Just another little tip. Okay, I got all the containers ready. I did some more containers that are a little bit bigger than that one, just in case I have plants that need to be bigger. I have the medium sized ones and the big ones because I've been reading about different plants needing different size spacing, space them this much, space them that much, I don't know. So I had some bigger ones and some smaller ones. You'll see them. Well, now that the containers are done, the next thing to do is to get the rock wool prepared and the water prepared so we can start growing some plants. So come on along with me on the journey. Be sure to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss a video. I'll see you soon on the next video on Grow From Within.